Hey everyone, Jess here. This is a video of my service dog Fritz when I had been in the hospital after having my lumbar spine fusion. I thought you guys might enjoy this cute little video. And today's video is in Judge Middleton's courtroom. It's a throwback to July. For my disclaimer, I am not an attorney. I am not making any legal conclusions, nor am I giving any advice. All comments are my opinion, and all persons are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And down below, I do now have membership, so the link is down there if you'd like to further support my channel. And per usual, I have the link to the PayPal to help support Fritz and Luna's BarkBox habit. Now, let's get over to Judge Middleton's courtroom. You brought your whole legal team with you today. So. Got the whole whole team there with me. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're welcome to be here. It's a public courtroom. This is file 21880ST, Lynn Hall. We were kind of worried. We didn't see you. I was about to call your number, but we found out you were in the hall. Um, this is a charge of driving suspended. Your lawyer, Jordan Yancey, is here. Also present is Casey Strong from the prosecutor's office. They have another warrant request for your arrest from another driving suspended in February. Driving suspended is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. They're willing to forego authorizing the new charge. I'm not sure what took from February to July, but apparently that's hanging around somewhere. Or unless you've made substantial efforts to get your license, in which case we may have to discuss it further. Jordan, what's the status here? Your Honor, I don't really have an update as far as his efforts. He's not made an appointment to meet with me to talk about that. I did relay the offer that was just placed on the record and he rejects that would demand a jury trial. All right. Um, who do you have for witnesses, Casey? Your Honor, I have just the officer in this matter, and that is Deputy Devante Jennings from the St. Joseph County Sheriff's Department. Jordan was concerned because she hasn't heard from you. I appointed her to represent you at my expense and the taxpayer's expense. Um, the least you could do is stay in contact with her. I've been incarcerated up until the first week of June. Well, I got that... out and I came to court here last week and she did not, she wasn't present then. And I got delayed till now. So. And it wasn't aware he was arraigned on a warrant, Your Honor, it wasn't. Well, uh, you couldn't be here. I, I set it for today, and uh, but you had a week. But anyway, let's talk about that. Um, where were you incarcerated? You told me, but I can't remember. I was, I was here in, uh, for 45 days, and then I got transferred to Kent County. I was there until June 7th, and then I moved to Pawpaw, and then from Pawpaw back to here because a warrant was issued because I missed court while I was incarcerated in Kent County Jail through here. So I had to come out of pocket $156, pay a bond for something I had no control over as well. Um, we discussed that at his arraignment. And she wasn't here because when you get picked up like that, I'm supposed to see you as soon as I can. And I, the attorneys most often can't just drop what they're doing to be here. But um, so what's up with the February case? Well, let's talk about that. The last lady's in jail. She did 22 days. Are you, you're not asking for any additional jail time. He's no, already no. got about 60 days of jail credit. So in addition to not charging the other offense, do you have any objection to time served? Absolutely not, Your Honor. And Your Honor, his concern is just affecting his ability to get his license. I he briefly spoke to me in the hallway. It may sound like there was another ticket recently in another county. So um, that one got lowered from uh, driving a suspended no operator on person, which doesn't put doesn't suspend my license for an additional year. I got an appointment with Secretary of State tomorrow to find out what's going on. I got the record in my phone. I'm trying to get my license back. I, I really am. I got. Well, I got stop driving. Now the one in well, February. I mean, I, sometimes I, I don't have a choice. I mean, I you got work. a choice. Yes, you just you're gonna 
keep shooting yourself in the foot and run out of toes. I had a guy tell me or that this morning. Homeless because I can't pay my bills. I don't have a good answer for you. Um, someone other than me suspended your driver's license. I don't have the authority to say, well, I'll just go ahead and drive anyway. In fact, I never did. At one point, circuit court judges had the authority to give people a hardship license, it was called. And if I were king of the world, I would give many people a license to drive back and forth to work, uh, not to the movies or the ballpark or anywhere else, but back and forth to work. But I don't have that authority. And then you keep driving, it just keeps digging the hole deeper. Now they're going to charge you with another driving suspended charge. What other county was that in? It was in Pawpaw. It was in that Van was Beer what county. you were on Van Buren dealing with? Yeah. They gave me time served and just a fine on that one. Which is what I was about to do, but you don't want to do that. So I'm going to set a jury trial. Your Honor, I'm just trying not to have my license suspended for an additional year. That's, that's I don't blame beneficial. you, but stop driving. The prosecutor is not willing to dump it all together. You're asking for to just dismiss two cases. No, Your Honor. I'm asking for a lower charge on the driving on suspended, possibly no operator on person like I got charged with there as well. Because that they were understanding, they understood. I was trying to, I got a lot going on. I was trying to get everything back on the track. But, Your um, Honor, if he does have an appointment tomorrow, like he says, can we adjourn this a couple weeks, see what he can figure out, and then maybe that would convince the prosecutor to consider a different offer? We could. Let's see here. I had the sheet. Uh, Jordan, I don't have anything set for you. Uh, we've got to turn up to July 28th. I'm, yeah, I'm here then, Your Honor. If that's agreeable to the court and the prosecutor. All right, we'll set it for 315. Do you have any objection to that, Casey? I do not. Mr. Hall, I'm all for you for getting your license back. You got a family to support. You got to work. Um, I had a guy I just talked to. He lives in Three Rivers. He doesn't have a license. Another guy this morning, he lives in Sherwood or somewhere. He doesn't have a license. There's jobs all over the place, but you got to be able to get to it. Um, All right, we'll continue this to 728.22 at 3.15. Stay in contact with your lawyer. If you get anything from SOS, share it with her. She can share it with the prosecutor. And um, maybe we can resolve this. All right, you're good to go. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor.